Justin Haddix made quite the splash in his first season as Corbin head coach after losing the season opener to eventual Class 5A state champion Pulaski County. The Redhounds reeled off 11 straight wins before losing a heartbreaker to Louisville Central in the second round of the Class 3A state playoffs. Yes, there were key losses on the roster, but the players feel this team can and will be better. Corbett begins the season ranked number seven in the Mountain Top 10. 36 to seven. That was the scoring margin Louisville Central had over Corbin in the Class 3A Region 2 Finals. After the Red Hounds jumped out to a 26 to nothing lead. You know, that's kind of been our thing is finishing the ball game and, you know, finish every set, finish everything you're doing, finish every practice. So, you know, we really use finish as kind of our motto this year. Uh, not, make, not to make many, many mistakes. You know, we made a lot of mistakes last year on the O-line, on D-line, and this year we're going to try to perfect everything to the best of our ability and make everything perfect and win all 15 games. Graduating a large senior class last season means the Red Hounds are flying under a lot of radars this season. But this team isn't buying any of the negativity. You guys are haters. You know, haters. I use that. Use that. Use haters as my, as my fuel. You know, faith. But you know, you gotta have faith and you gotta believe in your team in order to make stuff happen. Especially on the defensive side of the ball, where just like other Justin Haddock's coach teams in the past, the defense is expected to be big, fast, and aggressive. You know, then defensive line wise, we're really big up front and uh, you know, really athletic in the secondary. So you know, I, I feel like we're, we're a scrappy bunch. It's gonna come hit you and play hard. A big reason for the confidence is the fact that a talented junior varsity and freshman group will now contribute at the varsity level, a group that comes from one of the better feeder programs in the state. You know, some guys that's played a lot of JV, we run defeated in JV and freshman last year. So, you know, some of these kids that are freshmen have never lost a ball game in their life. So, uh, you know, we've got some good competition and, and you know, we're gonna play hard. And while there may not be as many seniors as last year's team, this year's group, along with the underclassmen, have continued the family type atmosphere that goes along with Corbin football. But I also like our team's uh, kind of our, our knit that we have. We're very close. Uh, everybody helps to perform versus having certain leaders that are all stepped up above and kind of next tier. So it's kind of nice to have that that compatibility. It has been 33 years since Corbin has been able to raise a state championship trophy and despite the lack of confidence and expectations from outsiders, this team aims to end that drought this year. I'd like to have a ring on my finger, but that's again dreams and hopefully that, that that's what we'll be at later in the season, but I don't know, it's, it's nice to be remembered. Year two for Justin Haddix as head coach of the Corbin Redhounds, an 11-2 mark in appearance in the Class 3A Region 2 Finals one year ago. The Redhounds move back to the eastern half of the bracket this season and will be definitely tested out of district. Corbin opens the season on the road at Whitley County and will also play non-district opponents Wagner out of Louisville, Clay County, Danville, Southwestern, Mayfield, and Knox Central.